Let's talk about LLM fine-tuning, why we need to fine-tune models, when we should fine-tune, and how fine-tuning is done. LLM fine-tuning is a process of taking pre-trained models like Llama or Mistral and adding your own custom dataset to perform a particular task or improve its performance to fit a specialized domain. For example, you can fine-tune a model to perform specialized tasks like document summarization, document classification, sentiment analysis, and more. You can also fine-tune a model to a specific industry like customer support, legal document drafting, healthcare research, and more. So isn't prompt engineering enough? Can't we achieve the same result with prompt engineering or RAGS? Well, yes. In fact, the first step you want to take in building LLM solution is prompt engineering. Then you can use RAG to add more specialized context and you will achieve great results. However, there are limits to the amount of context you can provide during inference. And for domains requiring extensive knowledge, such as legal or healthcare, the context needed during inference can be vast and not feasible. Fine-tuning is essential because it embeds the extensive context directly to the model. Moreover, adding context to your prompt will be costly, especially if you have long context data because LLM providers charges per tokens process. If you keep sending the same context, you pay for it multiple times. But if you fine-tune your model, you don't need to send the context as they are already embedded inside your model. Okay, let's train our own model. As cool as it sounds, training your own model is very costly. Google reportedly spent $191 million to train its most powerful model, Gemini Ultra. OpenAI spent about $78 million for GPT-4. Hence, training your own model is not for everyone unless you have such vast resources. So, when should we fine-tune? For sure, you want to test out your prompts first. Make sure you have a working solution, improve your prompt, increase your context using RAG, then fine-tune your model to make the process more efficient. You will also need to build a good number of datasets for fine-tuning. This may range from a couple of hundreds to a few thousands depending on your use case. But how do we fine-tune a model? Okay, because most of us developers are commoners and don't have access to large GPU resources, we have to find an efficient way of fine-tuning that can run on lower-end enterprise-grade hardware or even consumer-grade hardware. This is where PEFLORA comes in. PEF, which stands for Parameter Efficient Fine-Tuning, is a method of fine-tuning models on a smaller number of parameters. This significantly reduces the computational and storage costs. LORA, which stands for Low Rank Adaptation, is the most common method of PEF. Unlike regular fine-tuning where all pre-trained models are updated, LoRa works by decomposing a large matrix into two smaller low-rank matrix in the attention layer making the process more efficient and getting the same comparable results with full fine-tuning. Then there's quantization. Quantization reduces the number of models by changing the data type from 16 bits to 4 bits. Quantization is like rounding off a long decimal number into fewer decimal digits. As it turns out from a study from University of Washington, reducing the precision of vector data does not significantly affect the performance of LLM. Together, quantization and LoRa results to QLoRa, which is the most effective way of fine-tuning models at this time. Traditionally, fine-tuning LAMA 7B would require 116 gig of GPU memory, but with QLoRa, this can be done on any consumer-grade GPU with 16 gig of memory. And that's a wrap for this episode of Artificially Intelligent.